another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths than births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better. Or worse. the ones they think might know something about the Atlas. Constantine's gonna ask them a few questions. They've got the rest back up near the cathedral. Hmm. Someone's gonna have some fun. There must be... Incoming! Search the area. It's not nukes. Creepy looking guy with a scarred face named Constantine gave us a big speech, talked about destiny and something called the Source. And frankly, I'm even more baffled. The other contractors seem to be just as antsy and nervous as I am. But the company men, the guys who've been with Trinity for a long time, they're drinking it up and asking for seconds. It's fucking Jonestown out here. We're preparing for an assault. Against who, you might ask? I mean, there's people here, like natives, lost in time. We're talking furs, skins, and iron arrowheads. We're about to go meet them with attack choppers and 50 cal machine guns. I'm on the wrong goddamn side of history. The hired guns can finish the sweep down here. We're needed back to base camp. Leave them to it. Roger, we're clear. Copy that. Security guards came at night. I knew they would. I crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands. 
and smiled. He told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon, point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity, for Constantine. What did he say? It's not his call, but he's gonna put a recommendation in for us both. Then there'll be an initiation ceremony of some sort. So that's it? That's all he can do? Look, some of those guys were on contract for years before Trinity gave them rank. You have to be patient. There's more to it than performance. Like what? There's some sort of oath, and then the ceremony. He said we'd find out soon enough. my mind as well. I keep drifting off, getting lost in memories, lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died, how the plan had to shift, how I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity, learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it, and back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I, with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done, and this time will be no different. Elias and I will attempt to reach the far hills, where the old bear lives. Trinity is still clustered below in the old Soviet base. We will wait until the dead of night to go. It is a great risk, but we know a battle is coming. We'll have need of the medicinal herbs that grow in those hills if we are to survive the coming struggle.
thin, fluted flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. Heads up. We seem to have lost contact with the team sweeping the lower valley. Do you have eyes on them? <laughs> Negative. Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference, but Constantine's not taking chances. <laughs> we heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak. Heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that form could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. The Atlas is a map. It's supposed to point the way to whatever the natives are protecting out here. The divine source Constantine is after. That's the part I'm not clear on. Whatever his source is, it's gotta be something valuable. But the company men aren't saying much. Yeah. Look, keep this close to your chest, but I don't think it's money they're after. You bought into Constantine's speeches about a new world in glory, huh? I thought that was just motivating the troops. I don't think so. I think he really believes it. <laughs> so we took a contract with religious fanatics. I don't know. Fanatics sort of implies he's wrong, doesn't it? Don't tell me you believe all this. Someone does. Trinity has a lot of money and support behind them. They wouldn't risk this much. <laughs> uh. Uh. 